Hello there enemy team from Summoner's Rift. You obviously cannot be my teammates because you have brains. Recently, League has been full of videos about people quitting League of Legends. So many League content creators are quitting that we now even have videos like why do so many people quit League? And since I am Salmon in real life, I will go against the current and give you 10 reasons why you should play League of Legends. League of Legends is nowadays a worldwide phenomenon. On the one hand, it brought Koreans into the competitive sector to remind us how inferior we all are. And on the other hand, League got so popular in Poland that when kids in elementary school learn about the letter W, window, when, or what are not the first words with W they learn. But that is exactly what I want to talk about. League can make you polyglot. You get called so many nice words in so many different languages on Summoner's Rift that eventually you start to understand them and reply to them in their language. This one is honestly the reason that makes League stand out in my eyes for many games. It is that feeling that if the game went terribly wrong, when you will play the next one, it won't be the same. It is not about getting better like in CSGO by practicing your aim, who cares about that shit? You are not obligated to bend to the rules of the game, and next game you can pick something else, either a champion or even another role and have a totally different experience. Yeah sure, other players are probably a bunch of meta slaves, and there is a 99% chance that somebody is going to pick Kai'Sa, but there is still enough variety from game to game to make it a new experience, even though some tropes like feed and AFK still remain. I know, I know, the off-meta support player is going to talk about competitiveness. But hear me out. It is not only about winning more games and climbing ladder. It is also about competitive BMing, which evidently stands for bad manners. You know that feeling when something goes wrong, and the enemy Nautilus types a question mark in all chat, but a few minutes later you win the teamfight thanks to your ultimate while playing Fiddlesticks support, and you type that question mark in all chat and giggle as if it were your first head from a girl. This one is probably self-explanatory, but let me dive in. It's not like this is real-life teamwork. This is teamwork based on your reading abilities. You must read whether your AD carry is walking forward because he knows you can win that 2 versus 2, or is it because he saw Tyler 1 do it and he thinks to himself, I am like twice the man Tyler is, I can do it too. Also, nothing prepares you better for real-life teamwork than League. You think your teammates are toxic? You think they are rude? You think that your ideas are better than theirs? Suck it up dude because your boss is going to be the same. Yet, you still have to make things work so you win your paycheck or LP at the end. The only difference is that you can't curse at your boss in a different language. Now put both of your hands on the table. I need you to finish watching this video and not spend the next 30 minutes that will end with your mother having to wash your dirty underwear and pretend she doesn't know what it is because of course, you have been created by a holy ghost. But yeah, League is an excellent way to see some hot stuff. Whether it is directly in the game if you are not afraid to zoom in, or it is all that 18 plus media that is created every day by League enthusiasts. And then there are a few lucky guys who actually found a girlfriend or other kind of female friend relationship thanks to League. While the rest of us at least get excited every time we have the honor of playing with a random girl in solo queue. I am not a girl so I cannot make you drool simply by showing you my airbags, but if I made your mouth wet from laughing please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Maybe one day I will make so many mouths wet from laughter that we can compete with global warming over the amount of liquids produced. Playing League lowers the chance of getting Alzheimer's, and that's just a fact. If playing Sudoku or solving crosswords can do that, I'm sure as hell that knowing what to expect from 165 different creatures must as well. Plus all those random facts that you know, like why Poppy's hammer is so big or that Singed Dance is actually dancing on the grave of Jax. That one is made up, but Singed counters Jax. There is nothing more frustrating in life than having to admit you have done something wrong and take responsibility for your actions. However, us League of Legends players have an amazing way to avoid it. If you lose your game, you can always just blame it on Riot Games for not balancing it properly, bad matchmaking, or your skill shot missing because of bad programming. And it does not stop there. If your girlfriend leaves you, does that mean you have been a bad boyfriend? Of course not. It's just Riot Games making such addictive game. Have you lost your whole salary on sports betting? Riot Games makes so nice skins that are so expensive.
League is definitely at the top of the list when it comes to addictions. Only cocaine and that fountain of happiness between the legs of girls are higher on the list. So if you have a hard time forcing yourself to have fun, don't worry. Thanks to League, you will have more fun than you can manage. Also, there has been study done, and by study I mean I asked my five friends who play League. This study clearly proves that playing League also boosts smoking addiction. There is just this irresistible need to relax your nerves after solo queue game. So if you ever need need an excuse for not quitting smoking, you know what to say. Do you know why Genshin Impact was so popular? It was thanks to it being a gacha game. Gacha basically means the need to have them all, collect them all. And that is definitely something in which League excels. It starts with the need to unlock all champions but doesn't end there. There are also icons, emotes, skins, chromas for skins, wart skins, skins for your girlfriend, skins of your dead enemies, and so on. Sometimes these skins even make it impossible to recognize champions under them. And even though some skins are quite ugly, they are still better designed than the newest generation of Pokemon. Glamigo, I am looking at you. Last but not least, playing League and in general keeping up with this game gives you access to loads of amazing content, whether it is lore, cinematics, gameplay, fails, or humor. One example for all, if you quit the League, you won't be able to understand jokes in my videos. Anywho, I leave you Johnny-less for now.